Hillary obviously lost the election. And we have a few things that people have said, just a couple. And I think we should highlight them because it's wonderful. The world hates women. I loved when I saw that one. That really makes a lot of sense. Let's see another one. We are now under total Republican rule. Textbook fascism. F you, white America. F you, you racist, misogynist pieces of shit. Good night. So this is a common theme. I've seen a lot of this going around the internet. And I just want to say a few things. So what you're saying is that the reason that Trump became president is because the world or at least the United States, is just full to the brim with misogynistic, homophobic, racist white men. That's what you're saying. They voted for Trump strictly because they hate the fact a woman was running for president. Okay, can we just cut through the bullshit for like 10 minutes? 10 minutes is all I ask. You're going to sit here and blame this election on white men. How convenient for you. Because if that's the case, your social justice bullshit is validated. You're kind of like a firefighter looking for work. You don't necessarily want people's houses burning down, but you kind of need a bit of that in your life so you feel useful. So a fire here and there ain't exactly a bad thing. I mean, if there were no fires, you don't exactly have a job anymore and people stop caring about you. And we can't have that, even if that means you have to start some of those fires yourself. Aside from the fact that tons of women voted for Trump, a number of gay and trans people voted for Trump, a number of people of color voted for Trump, a number of Muslims and Mexicans voted for Trump, not to mention all of the black, gay, Mexican, Muslim women who voted for Trump. You honestly believe in your own horseshit idea that America has some vicious vendetta against a woman as president, that it couldn't possibly be that Hillary and the Democratic Party as a whole are complete garbage right now. Sure, some white men out there are racist bigots, and they voted for Trump because they hate the idea of a woman being president. Yes, just like some black people voted for Obama because they hate the idea of another white person being president. Just like some women voted for Hillary for the sole fact she has a vagina and they're sick of presidential dick. Yes, racism exists, and you know what? It always will. And while we shouldn't stop fighting it, we also can't inflate its power by attributing things to it that it either had nothing or very little to do with, like this election. The reason people didn't vote for Hillary totally couldn't be because Democrats have an all too cozy relationship with big banks now, especially Hillary. Democrats have been causing a massive rift between themselves and the working class for a while now. Hillary has colossal billionaire donors while Trump largely used his own money. The fact the DNC sabotaged Bernie Sanders, which not only made the DNC look like shit, but made Hillary look like shit too, and made people abandon the Democratic Party. Or maybe the Benghazi event. Some people still give a shit about that, you know. How about the Hillary Clinton email fiasco, which made her look like an untrustworthy lying moron? How about the fact that Hillary's husband has allegedly raped women, and Hillary allegedly threatened the women to keep their mouths shut? And if you think this one is ridiculous, but give merit to Trump's rape allegations without any concrete evidence or verdict, you're a dumbass. WikiLeaks full-on assaulting Hillary and exposing her for numerous things. The fact Hillary had a number of f***ing health scares that went viral multiple times. We thought the bitch was gonna die so many f***ing times. I, I, I thought she was gonna f***ing die. I thought she was dead. I thought it was like weekend at Hillary's. She's f***ing up there. Talking f Maybe Hillary insulting a large amount of voters and permanently alienating them from ever converting to her side had something to do with it. The fact Hillary is perhaps one of the most unlikable and unrelatable people on the f***ing planet. Here's a doozy. How about how the Clinton Foundation accepts money from countries that uphold forced male guardians, killing gays, marital rape, and more horrendous things, while she claims to be a champion for these people who are regularly oppressed? How in the f***? Does that work? Hillary claims she loves gay people, though it really seems she's only saying that to get their vote now, considering in the past she was staunchly against gay marriage. Wake the f*** up. Hillary's lies about events like the landing under sniper fire incident. Hillary bluntly panders to specific groups of people and comes off as super f***ing 
fake. Two of the three presidential debates are clearly skewed in Hillary's favor, so much so that moderators argue on Hillary's behalf, making Hillary look like a snake and Trump look like an underdog. Security detail personnel, including state troopers and Secret Service, have claimed Hillary is viciously rude, angry, and hateful when out of the public eye. Also, that she's abusive towards Bill. The fact Bill and Hillary have a practically loveless marriage and aren't fooling anyone. There's something for family values in the White House. Suspicions of her connection to numerous people dying who have wronged Hillary or threatened her in some f***ing way. And the fact that Hillary represents the establishment, something Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump spoke out against extensively and rallied people against. Those are a few of the f***ing reasons why someone may not have f***ing voted for f***ing Hillary f***ing Clinton. And of course, there are some white male bigots out there. Yes, I would never pretend there aren't or that racism is dead. It's still alive, but perhaps not as much as so many of you would like it to be. Oh, and here's some salt in the wound for you. I figured I'd just add this in for free. Some of the same supporters who disagreed with the violence at Trump rallies are literally tearing apart cities and torching people's property, likely the property of other Hillary voters, as we speak. How great is that? So no, we as a society don't hate women. I personally long for a time a decent woman runs for president and gets it. That's if the DNC doesn't f***ing sabotage her too, am I right? Am I f***ing right? So wake the f*** up, own the f*** up, and realize that it wasn't Trump who made himself look good. With all the bullshit he said and did, there should have been no easier person to beat. It was the Democratic Party that made him look good by nominating perhaps the worst possible woman they could have, going against the wishes, the general wishes, of the American people. Yeah, if you're upset about this election, it's because the Democratic Party f***s you in the ass and they didn't even do so much as spit on it first. They spit in your face instead. Just had a black president, and we just had a woman running for president who got nominated, and a lot of votes, even though it should have been a man, Bernie Sanders, who got the nomination. And you're going to tell me misogyny and racism solely dictate this country's decisions. You are f***ing hilarious, man. Maybe you should host this f***ing show. You're so f***ing funny. Well, if you could take 10 minutes and stop being fuel for its f***ing content. And for the record, I did not vote for Trump. Past that, I don't have to tell you shit. But for the sake of what I'm saying, I'm not waving a Trump flag. I'm just trying to get you to understand that you should be holding the Democratic Party accountable for Trump's presidency, not straight white men. And that's it for this public service announcement. Thanks for watching this episode. Feel free to rip this episode offline, cut snippets out of the speech I just gave, and post it on your Facebook. I don't give a shit because I'm kind of sick of people saying and assuming because I'm a straight white male that I automatically am racist, homophobic, and I hate women. I'm kind of tired of that bullshit. I know a black person. So don't you tell me that. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up. Check out my other videos. And that's it. Grow the f up. And no, I'm not crashing into the wall this time. Go f yourself.